Greetings all, this is the J-Man from Metal Sharks. And coming at you from Melbourne Beach, Florida. And I'm trying to catch up with my dad, John Long Silver. Because we're getting ready to try something different for our channel. I think we've only featured this activity once. And that is fishing. We're going saltwater fishing in the surf. So I've got to catch up with him. So we're here with a neighbor down the street named Bob. So he's kind of the expert the guy over there. So we're going to try to follow his lead. He recommended we fish along here in the surf. So I'm trying to get set up. These are old and probably stale, but better than nothing. Close, right? I don't know. I don't know how many hooks I have because I borrowed the rod from my brother. And it doesn't have a rubber band or anything on it, so I'm getting off kind of a rough start. It's a little bit of time. Okay. Hey, you can't beat that beautiful sunrise along the Atlantic coast here. Florida. I have to look at that for a minute. This uh, cheers up any of my friends up north who are metal detectorists or outdoor enthusiasts because pretty soon, my friends, you'll be able to go out and detect or get outside and get some fresh air, get that snow off the ground. So hopefully this will give you some positive thoughts anyway. So for bait today, I have this double hook set up here. I think it's good for pompano and other fish. And I have a clam bite or a crab bite and then some shrimp left. So I'm going to give that a whirl. Try to get out a little bit in the surf when I do when I cast. And get the bait out a little further. Problem is I don't want to get the iPhone in my pocket wet. Went out pretty far that time. Oh, I thought I had a bite. I thought I had a bite. Let's see. Hey, look at that. There you have it. Let's see if we can figure out what that is. Look at that little white fish. You barely hooked. A little craval. A little craval? Like Thanks. A big small clump, but I don't have trouble telling them more that size. Yeah. So 
So I got this little Corval fish. I'm gonna release him here. Too small to keep, but at least I got something. So I'm on the board. Go away, little guy, and get bigger. Or bring back your cousins. So the main focus of metal sharks will probably always have a lot to do with metal detecting. Especially beach metal detecting, but hopefully one day relic. A little more relic detecting. But today we're trying something different. And uh, it's a treasure of sorts when you catch a nice fish. And the prices of seafood being such as it is, we're hoping we can have something that would make for a good fish fry even. You're always hoping you can generate a fish fry when you go fishing. Maybe a nice pompano or a nice blue fish today would be really cool. Or even a bigger Carval. I'd have to see what the size limits on those are. Two fish coming in at the same time here. Another little Carval to my right. Let's see if John Long Silver got one. He did get one. A little whiting. I'll let him go here. I don't get bigger. Get a little bit bigger. Got a packed with shot right here. Oh my Jumped goodness. Jumped out of the water, spun in the air, and everything. Wow. My pole was hit in the ground. Uh, uh, I was passing the other pole. Yeah. That pole was going bent over to the ground. I went to pick it up and shot it. Oh no. <laughs> I had great. Wow. Huh. That would have been a picture. Yeah. So, uh, J-Man's back here. And, uh, I wanted to note that one of my brothers is with us, but he doesn't have a handle yet for uh, our channel. So we'll have to figure out a good nickname for him for our channel. But he's here, and then my dad's here. My dad caught the whiting. My brother hasn't gotten anything yet, but he just got here. So hopefully he's going to get something good. So a guy named Bob was real friendly that I talked to a little while ago. And I'm hoping if he gets something good on his line, I'll be able to video it for you. What'd you get? Wow, nice little one. Huh. Oh boy, I got your line too. Oh, sorry. Ago, I caught a pompano and I'm not sure I got it on video. The camera was acting up a little, the GoPro. So let's see if I can get one on, on camera this time. The one I caught was 10 inches, which is one inch short of what you need to be able to keep it. So maybe some bigger pompano are going to come right in here. Sometimes they come and go pretty quickly, so I'm hoping the school is still around. something small just a small one here let's see what we got
Yeah, really small one. you get jack pompano wow nice one that that might be 11 you got to measure it it looks like it might be 11 but i'm not sure that's a jack and that's a pompano you don't think that is no that's not 11 that's about nine eight i would get in the one like this School starting, you guys might clean up. So there's a little Jack Creval. I'm gonna throw him back. Too small. He's grunting. He swam off nicely. All right. My brother got one, and there's a guy in a kayak out there. Looks like he's having fun and getting good exercise. Pull my line in and see what my brother got. Oh, that's a nice little one. Too small. Uh, oh well. Go out there. Yeah. So my brother just caught his fourth pumpkin over the day, but they're too small to keep still. So I'm going to get my line back in the water, but we're just about out of bait. We thought half a bag would be enough, so we just, but then I, we decided to get a whole bag. So we had a bag and a half this morning, and we went through it quickly, of shrimp. And there goes a pelican. That's a neat sight in Florida. Two pelicans. Very cool. I love how they skim right over the water. And then all of a sudden they stop. A lot better at fishing than I am. <laughs> Greetings again all, this is the J-Man from Metal Sharks and just wanted to do a brief wrap up from the fishing this morning. My dad, John Long Silver and I got up around 6 a.m. and got out there for the sunrise at 6.45. And my dad caught a nice whiting, my brother my youngest brother caught uh, four pompano, all too small to keep. And then I was able to catch one creval and one pompano that was just under the size limit, 10 inches. And then I also caught one other smaller. Creval.